No more police on CCSD campuses. A local group calling for CCSD PD to disband. They say a survey shows complaints from students of color who feel they're being targeted. But some parents say that's the wrong approach. And 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen right now is live at CCSD headquarters with what both sides are arguing for here, Jeremy. Yeah, Todd and Trish, uh, the discussion about police within CCSD has been going on for some time, most notably last June during the midst of the George Floyd protests. Now this time, the group calling for that to happen says they have some numbers to back their back it up with the survey. Local students and activists with Make the Road Nevada calling for the Clark County School District Police to disband. Ruth Dimbaru, a sophomore at Spring Valley High School, says students of color like herself feel targeted by them on campus. It feels as though we're being watched. Um, it feels as though they're waiting for us to do something. Um, and so I think it creates a very hostile learning environment. Nearly 140 students were surveyed in Clark County, where more than half said they had or knew of another student who had a negative interaction with school police. Of those students, two-thirds of black and brown students surveyed said the same thing. Those interactions students describe include excessive force with pepper spray and verbal abuse or harassment. Dimbaru says there should be more investment in school counselors and mental health resources. If we are met with more mental health professionals and uh, more restorative justice programs at school, I feel like we can stop a lot of these problems before they even happen. However, some parents disagree. Charlie Melvin with the group Power to Parents says they have an expectation that their kids will stay safe at school. If we are removing safety measures, then why would parents be comfortable with sending their children to school? She also says school staff like teachers shouldn't have security responsibilities like breaking up fights as many are not properly trained to do that. It is not their responsibility. Are we really going to give teachers more responsibility for less pay? Are we really going to do that? Dimbaru argues more counselors and mental health specialists can be a proactive way to prevent many fights from even happening. A lot of these students that feel that aggression, I feel like a fight is just seen as a disruption when this is something that's been building up and these students are crying out for help and they're not receiving the help that they need. Melvin says if students of color are fearful of officers, the conversation should shift to bridging divides and suggest some of those same officers should go to classrooms where students can ask them any questions about their role on campus. And that way we have some relationships that are um, happening where more trust is built. Now, CCSD did release a statement saying in part that its police department, quote, ensures our students receive a rich and rigorous education by working to ensure school safety and that it also strives to treat every student equally. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News. Jeremy, thank you. And we do have more information about the survey. It's on our website, including what some of the respondents reported about being harassed and also who makes them feel safe. Just go to KTNV.com for that. We also, by the way, we want to hear from you at home as well. So do you believe school police are necessary? Well, if you want, you can join the conversation on our Facebook page at KTNV Las Vegas.